So we're asked to solve for x, and we have this equation with absolute values in it. So it's 4 times the absolute value of x plus 10 plus 4 is equal to 6 times the absolute value, 6 times the absolute value of x plus 10 plus 10. And at first this looks really daunting, but the key is to just solve for this absolute value expression and then go from there. And let me just rewrite it so that the absolute value expression really jumps out. So this is 4 times the absolute value of x plus 10. Plus 4, plus 4 is equal to 6 times the absolute value of x plus 10, plus 10, plus 10. So let's get all of the let's get all of the absolute values of x plus 10 on the left hand side. So I want to get rid of the 6 times the absolute value of x plus 10 on the right. Well, how would I do that? Well, I could subtract 6 times the absolute value. Of x plus 10 from the right, but we've already seen this multiple times. If these two things are equal, and if I want to keep them equal, if I subtract 6 from the right hand side, I've got to subtract, or if I subtract 6 times the absolute value of x plus 10 from the right hand side, I have to subtract the same thing from the left hand side. So we're going to have minus 6 times the absolute value of x plus 10. And likewise, I want to get all my constant terms. I want to get this 4 out of the left hand side. So let me subtract 4. From the left, and then I have to also do it on the right. Otherwise, my equality wouldn't hold. And now let's see what we end up with. What we end up with. So on the left-hand side, the four minus four—that's zero. You have four of something minus six of something. That means you're going to end up with negative two of that something. Negative two of the absolute value of x plus ten. Remember, this might seem a little confusing, but remember, if you had four times, if you had four apples and you subtract six apples, you now have negative two apples. I guess you owe someone the apples. Same way, you have four of this expression. You take away six of this expression. You now have negative two of this expression. Let me write a little bit neater. So it's negative two times the absolute value of x plus ten is equal to. Well, the whole point of this of the of the six times x the absolute value of x plus ten and minus six times the absolute value of x plus ten is to make those cancel out, and then you have ten minus four, which is equal to six. Now we want to solve for the absolute value of x plus ten. So let's get rid of this negative two, and we can do that by dividing both sides by negative two. You might realize everything we've done so far is just treating this red expression as almost just like a variable, and we're going to solve for that red expression and then take it from there. So negative two divided by negative two is one. Six divided by negative two is negative three. So we get the absolute value of x plus ten is equal to is equal to negative three. Now this gets us to a very interesting situation. You might have to say, hey, maybe this could be the positive version or the negative version. But remember, absolute value, absolute value is always. Is always non-negative. It could, when you take, if you took the absolute value of zero, you would get zero. But the absolute value of anything else is going to be positive. So this thing right over here is definitely going to be greater than or equal to zero. It doesn't matter what x you put in there. When you take its absolute value, you're going to get a value that's greater than or equal to zero. So there's no x that you could find that's somehow going to that let、like、you put it there. You add ten. You take the absolute value of it. You're actually getting a negative value. So this right over here has absolutely No, no solution, and I'll put some exclamation marks there for emphasis.